It's time for some Be A Pro Stanley Cup playoffs. Now, we did kind of sneak in. We finished 14th in the league, so we were in the upper half. And we're going up against the President's Trophy winning New York Islanders. Not going to be a fun time. But everybody loves a good underdog story. So let's see if we can write one of those right now. The English language just never fails to amaze me. You know, you could write something down. You could shoot right. You could turn right. You can be correct, which is also right. There, there, and there. Anyway, first and foremost, let's check out the lines for your Columbus Blue Jackets. We have Johnny Goudreau playing with Kent Johnson and Bjorkstrand. Pretty good first line. Then we've got Michelli, Sagan, and Marchenko. Super down with that. Extremely valid second line. I was going to say solid again, but I decided to reach into the old thesaurus, to which I found nothing, so... Yeah, solid and valid, not the same thing. But you know what? It is a valid second line. It's not invalid. Our bottom six is also good. It just is. Defensively, we got it going on. We didn't before, but we sure do now after the trade deadline. Things have happened. Scott Sterling, 92 overall, lets in the first goal 98% of the time. Now, as I mentioned, we are going up against the President's Trophy winning New York Islanders. Unfortunately, you can't view lines for other teams, but we can. This is not where I wanted to go. This is where I meant to go. Oh, I really didn't even know you could check out the AHL. That's kind of fascinating. But anyway, let's go to the Islanders and see who is on their squadron. Nikita Kucherov, 91 points, 45 tucks. How are you doing? 290 shots. Kuzmenko also ripping them on the net. So they acquired Kucherov, Kuznetsov, Kuzmenko, Burakovsky, while still keeping Barzal, Horvat, Dobson. They also have John Tavares, who is 86 overall, Hartman. This is going to be a tough matchup. Who's their goalie? Is it, is it still Sorokin? Oh my word. Also 92 overall. Bet you he doesn't let in the first shot every game. There was one other thing I wanted to check. Edit player. I know I've seen some comments about being able to use team equipment now. So let me see about all that. If there's anything that we want to add. Seen a lot of goalie masks. There's probably something going on here that I don't know about. Okay. Oh, still don't really get how to use a team one. Well, someone can let me know and we will look into it in about three to four videos. It's like shipping. This will be here in three to five business days. No, this will be here in about three to four videos. Let's get it started. Round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs taking on the New York Islanders. Do not let them score on the first shot of the game. Oh my word. How the turntables? It wasn't the first shot of the game. Let's go! Bjorkstrand buries one. It is 2-0. Good guys. And it looks like that might be the result of the first period. Yes, it is. Not a high shooting game by any means. Shots are 11 to 10. Well, you know what? It's only one period. That's not bad. Probably average-ish. And we shall keep it going here in the second. We stopped the first shot. They did score on the second shot of the second period, but... Wasn't the first one, so that's an improvement. Kuznetsov buries one past Sterling from literally in the net by the looks of it, so I'm not sure how that one was pulled off, but can't ask questions. Keep that one goal lead. Let's keep it. All right, we are in a nice situation, jumping into the third. Here we go. It is a 2-1 lead for the Jackets. Kucherov wearing number 80, is it 86 or is it 88? I can't really tell with the font. Also doesn't help that I can't wear glasses in videos because the reflection is out of control. You know what else doesn't help? The fact that I have to turn off tethering every time I come to play this mode. It is out of control. Get deleted. Let's reestablish that two goal lead. How's that sound? I'm in. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but definitely up there on my list. A lot of former capitals on this team. Kuznetsov, Burakovsky, Mantha. Probably shouldn't have made that save, but pulled it off. And now we are going to have the man advantage. So that worked out splendidly. Yup, set it up. I like it. Maybe a little less puck movement between each other and a little more movement towards the net. Just some ideas. Nice try, Say again. Tried to tuck it. We're establishing again, but we're running out of time here. Sorokin smothers it and passes it out. I respect that so much. Yeah? Just missed the net. That was such a good chance. 
All right, I like it though. Very good start to this third. Good pass. Good shot. But Ilya's all over it, which is probably going to be the story for a lot of these games. He's not an easy netminder to beat. Big save on Cooch. And please get it out of the zone. I really don't like that our team does this. Don't turn back. Move over that blue line. That's your one goal. Let's go, Drake. He's in. Tries to take a shot. But the defenseman was in the way. So the shot was not completed. Here come the Isles. Mantha's in. Oh my word, I should not have slid like that. Not sure exactly what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. There you go. Answered my own question. Yeah, you definitely move a lot faster when in Butterfly, so... You know what? I'm still kind of learning here. Oh my! What a save! I was gonna go for the flag poke check, but he was coming in far too slow. So I thought he would have had me. Yeah, I'm sending it out. I don't care. Go ahead, ask me if I care. I don't. Nope, not today. And I'm still sending it out. Chronic just let it go. Wait, do we have Ronick on our team? I feel like we do. That's him, right? Oh no. Oh no. Yes! Alright, this time, I'm gonna chill. Another penalty? Yes! This is huge. There's only 255 remaining as well. We could not ask for a better gift right now. If they get a shorty... Kempe just saved our bacon. That was a guaranteed goal if he wasn't there. Threw a screen and Sorokin still has the glove. So, I believe we are very close to being even strength. Yeah, there's only a few seconds left, but... This is going to be an intense final minute? That was interesting. Oh, that would have been phenomenal. An own goal to seal the deal. Are you kidding me? Ooh, saved it. That would not have been phenomenal. Kempe, after saving us, almost own gold himself. Empty net. Don't pass it. Just do the thing. It's right there. You don't got to go for the field goal. Once more, just tap it in. That's all you got to do. It really is that easy. And now... No. No. Not in my house. It comes down to this draw and a clean win for Columbus. Maybe it doesn't. Oh no, maybe it doesn't come down to this draw. Saved. Yes! Yes! Victory! 29 saves. That's good, right? Let's just show me. Come on. Come on. We already know, but I gotta see it. Wow, yeah. Gr Never mind, I did want to see that. Tremendous hit from Bjorkstrand. A 967. What a sicko. Let's go, boys. Fire me up. Love to see it. Huge win against the President's Trophy winning Islanders in their own barn. Now let's see if we can keep that up or if it will become a best of five series. Times 8 sim speed. First shot of the game goes our way again. I don't know what changed, but I'm here for it. Power play goal for the Islanders. Kuznetsov scores on Scotty once again. And we are all tied up here halfway through the first. And that's how the first will end. 1-1 one, one after 1. Second period. Let's go. We saved the first shot of the second. First few. So we're doing all right. Can we get the 2-1 lead again? Oh no. Power play for the Islanders. We kill it off. That was crucial. Oh wow. This is a really close series so far. This is a huge game. We can either take full control of this series by going up 2-0 and head back to Columbus with that lead. Or... We could lose this, have the series tied up, and have it come down to a best of five. 9-1 almost got teed up right there. I'm not even sure if the last sentence that I just constructed even made sense. But I'm just over it at this point. I'm well aware of my inability to speak. I think I'm kind of down with those Islanders jerseys. Obviously, not as good as the Fisherman, which is a hot take, I believe. I've seen opinions of both kinds for the fisherman jersey people really like it or they really don't i am personally on team yes down with that jersey but there's not a lot of jerseys i don't like to be honest with you i'm pretty easy to please yes 
A little scramble in front of the net. Sagan picks it up. Rips one past Sorokin. And the 2-1 lead has been taken by Columbus. Oh, yeah. He even took the hard route. He could have went backhand, had basically the whole net. But he said, no. I'm scoring this right here, right now. Fire me up, Tyler. No. Nope. Uh, I don't think so. Sort of an airmail pass there to our defender. And it worked. Oh, yeah? Come on. Nice try, Johnny. I cannot lie to you right now, and I know this is going to backfire. Like, it is just the most obvious thing on planet Earth. I'm still going to say it, though. I'm all over it. Absolutely on fire right now. Is our team helping me out? Yes. But, you know, I can't do everything. The team has to bail me out every now and again. Especially like that one rebound last game. He even goes through the crease to celebrate. Oh, that was personal. If this was real hockey, instant line brawl. At this point, we don't really need more offense, but I'll take it. Just kind of need to shut them down. However, I'm going to entrust these lads to do whatever they think is best because it's working. Look at him. They can't take the puck off this guy. He just does whatever he wants. Is that Gretzky back there? Hello? And we did the one thing that we can't do. Tyler Sagan, two minutes for tripping. You can't do that. Little dramatic. Little bit. It's a save, though. I guess Scott's getting confident. Deciding to flash the leather, if you will, in a playoff game where we're only up by two and currently on the penalty kill. Maybe not the best choice, but I'll allow it. Burkowski's in. Oh my word. Maybe you should stop shooting glove side. Evidently, it's not working out for you. We're too good. We're actually too good. This is unbelievable. <laughs> That was kind of funny. Our guy, like, wouldn't let him sell and he was trying so hard. He's like, let me at him. And he just wasn't letting him at him. Number nine was blocking that celebration like it was his job. But then out of nowhere, they all just put their hands up for, like, a second. I can honestly say I did not see this coming. We are going to be headed back to Ohio with a 2-0 series lead. What a thing of beauty. And there you have it. Second game of the series in the books. And Columbus is looking mighty fine right now. Again, 23 shots and only one goal against. No, I won't get first start. We had four goals. I'm still going to wait, though. I have to know whether or not we did. No, Philip Ronick. Well deserved. If we can go up 3-0, that will be a spectacle. And let's try to do just that. Game three of round one. Here we go. They didn't score on the first shot. Neither did we. So that streak's broken. They did get a power play early on. We got a power play. Never mind. Forgot that, you know, home ice advantage kind of flopped. So we're on this side now. Goalless first period? Yup. Again, the third period got out of control last game, but this series has been very, very tight. This two simulation periods we've done ended up 2-1 and 1-1 going into the third. So it's been anybody's game, but right now, I think Scott is sort of outplaying Sorokin, as I say that Kucherov buries too, because that's just the way it goes. But if we can have a third period like we did last game, I ain't worried about it right now. See, we're gonna get into this topic again. But I was talking about it either last video or the video before. As soon as I see a jersey, I think of a player. And it was the Columbus one where I thought of Rick Nash. These jerseys, Michael Pekka. Right away. Not for us, obviously. For the Islanders. But, yeah. That's just where my brain goes. Let me know if you have any jerseys like that. I think they would have been playing when they were using these jerseys. So, I also sort of thought of Yashin and Di Pietro. But, the very first thought, literally as soon as I saw it, was just Pekka. Alright, boys. This is the first time that we're playing from behind. Let's fight through the adversity, get it done here in the third, and have this series one game away from victory. Yep. Did we just get finessed again? Was that over the line again? 
And the ref's like, no. No, it wasn't. Not like we have instant replay or anything like that. It could have been. I will go check it out. An analysis will happen. Our player just blocked a shot. And might have broke a leg the way he reacted. All right, Marchenko. Let's go. Rip one. Yes! Oh, my. No idea how this found its way in the net. But it sure did. It is a Thai hockey game. Kirill the Thrill, baby. Is this angle going to kind of slow-mo? Is it going to show me anything? So it went... Oh, wow. It just snuck between his torso and his glove. A little bit of a pop fly. We take those. I still have to know. So their player just hits a force field. And it doesn't go in the net somehow. And then this man's come sliding over. The force field is strong still. Reaches behind him. Where is it? There it is. Alright, I see you. Will we be able to see... Yep, it was in. It was literally in the net. There's no red between there. I don't, give me that parallax angle crap. No, it's in. And immediately after we tie it up, we take a penalty for tripping. Great. Awesome idea. I would have done the same thing if I was in your situation. All right, let's uh, not get scored on. Too late for that. That took the air right out of this arena. It went silent. Low save there. Get this puck back up the ice. And let's tie it up again. You've done it once. You can do it again. Yes, you can. You absolutely can. I don't know where Sorokin was on that one. He was out to lunch. Great shot, Johnny. Great pass. Whoever that was. We just are the better team right now. There's no other way to say it. Come on. Come on. Are you even surprised? I'm not. This is giving Columbus Tampa vibes. If you remember the infamous tweet. We don't have words. And we're pretty sure you don't want to hear them. I am happy here in Columbus. We had three years on Anaheim where the GM did nothing at the trade deadline. First season with Columbus, GM also did nothing at the deadline. Which worried me. Alright, I was like, are we in one here again? But then this season happened. And holy smoke. Like, what? Oh, <laughs> that was so lucky. I bit hard on that. And he just managed to go back that way. All right, let's, uh, let's move this thing over that blue line. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get up. A little bit of a scramble there. Felt like a fish out of water. No, we just took a penalty, too. Come on, Tyler. 548 remaining. This game has kind of turned into a shootout. Shorthanded goal. You guys won't do it. We're doing a really good job of killing it off right now. I don't know if they've gotten a shot. Batherson up the ice. Headmans it to Phillip. Over to Kepe. We almost had it. We actually almost did it. We've had better chances than them. Down a man. We're so good. We are so good at ice hockey. It is otherworldly. The lead has been reestablished. Did they count that as an own goal? They showed Sorokin. <laughs> wow. What a roller coaster this game has been. The two minute warning. Come on. Scott, you gotta save some pucks here. To be fair, I don't think, you know, there was a whole lot I could have done. The second one, how many did they score? Did they score three? No, they had two coming into this period because it was 2 1, right? So, what was even the first one? I don't remember now. The second one, I was flopping around trying to get up, and by the time that I finally did, it was too little too late. Still drawing a blank on the first goal, though. Oh, never mind. It was the Barzell, like, really up-close one, wasn't it? Short-handed? Yes? Wasn't scared. Do I look nervous, jabroni? Kucherov's in. Did they... No, it didn't come out of the zone. 
Horrible positioning from Scott. But a win's a win. And we are up three, nothing. Who saw that coming? Yeah, let's go. Fire me vertical, fire me north, fire me up. Let's see how our players are doing. Let's go look at some stats here. I don't think we've had, actually no, we have had a lot of offense because those two third periods were out of control. All right, what do you want? Ask your question, hurry up, I don't got all day. You are three games up, yeah, I know, I'm well aware. How confident are you? Quite. Oh, not like I unlocked Diplomatic using the skill tree or anything. Avoid promise, let's go to persuade. And it worked, yeah, there you go. There's that skill tree coming into work. Alrighty, stat central. Player stats. Johnny is averaging two points a game right now. He has six in the three that we have just played. Bjorkstrand has four. Hronik has four. He's been on one. Marchenko, Johnson, Batherson, and David all got two. And your boy Scott Sterling, a 927 save percentage with a two GAA. It is looking real good for Columbus at this point in time. Well, thank you for watching. Glad you're enjoying the series still. We will continue round one and hopefully not lose three in a row and have a game seven push. So in the next video, we should hopefully be starting round two, but you never know. If you could absolutely delete that like button and subscribe, that would be cool. Or you could not. Again, it's really up to you, but I have to say it. This is the playoff tree right now, us and Chicago. The two teams that are currently up 3-0. Other than that, it is all 2-1. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon.